This channel has reached its first 1 million views and in order to celebrate I asked you to send me your questions. You did so and therefore let's dive right into the answers. I would like to know why you decided to move to Japan and how old you were. The story of why I moved is a bit too long to be told here. I will probably make a separate video about it at some point. Uh, but it had something to do with my wife. And I moved at the age of 29. How do they heat their houses? Like this. Kerosene heaters are popular too, most areas don't have centralized heating systems. Are you a Mugiwara? I don't know what that is, so I guess no. Do you miss German food? Also, what foods do you miss most or which is done poorly in Japan? Yes, especially bread, that's why I bake it myself. Uh, I also haven't had a really good schnitzel here either. How often do you and your family dine out? About once a week. What are your most recommended Japanese dishes which visitors should try? Good sushi and sashimi, both when visiting a town at the Sea of Japan and the Pacific Ocean. An A5 or B5 Wagyu steak, apple juice from Nagano or Aomori and yakiniku. Maybe also basashi if you are into exotic stuff. Where can I find a job teaching English in Japan? Search at gaijinpod.com or apply to the JET program or Interact, provided you are a native English speaker. Are there work positions for things like working with students in conversational English or must you have a degree for such a thing? There are likely positions for that, but usually you cannot get a work visa without a degree or enough professional experience in the field. As a tourist, is it acceptable to wear a yukata for festivals? Of course, I'm more a jinbei guy myself, but I have seen many foreigners wearing them, especially at the larger festivals like the Gion Matsuri in Kyoto. I think you moved to Kanagawa, how do you like it? Also, how do you like living where you are now versus Nagano? The biggest difference is in Nagano I could take my bike, drive for 20 minutes and then I would see rivers, rice fields and mountains. Here I can see Mount Fuji from my balcony, go to Tokyo's concrete jungle by train or if I go the other direction I will end up in Kamakura and see the ocean. What I really like so far is that our new apartment we are staying in is what the Japanese call a mansion and it's so much easier to heat and keep warm in winter. The bottom line is both places have their pros and cons, but I like to focus on the positives. How much more is it costing to live where you are now versus Nagano? As I said before, we are living in a different type of apartment right now. It's also a bit larger and the building is newer, so it's not 100% comparable. Uh, but we are paying about twice as much rent. How can someone adapt to living in Japan, especially in the small apartments and crowded cities? I don't have a recipe for that. It was always overwhelming for me when I came to Tokyo from Nagano, but I have gotten used to it within a couple of hours. So I think you will be fine too. Do you have to be extra quiet and polite when living in apartments in Japan? What happens if you are not? Either a general information will be sent to all the people living in the building, something like, please keep your dogs from barking, or the landlord will give you a call. What is the most boring or mundane thing about living in Japan, if it exists? Salaryman's outfits. Do you miss your sister a lot? Yes, both of them. How often is anime watched? I have no idea, but there's a lot of anime on Netflix, so often I guess. Why do people overwork and die? I think the reasons are multiple. Hierarchical structure, social norms, group pressure and poorly organized companies are some of them. Especially large companies seem to be very sensitive about karoshi and the bad image that comes with it. What do you think is the best method of learning kanji? James Heisig's method, remembering the kanji, at least for learning the meanings. This is the German version. This book's strong points are the order the kanji are taught to you and that it teaches mnemonics. This means instead of learning by repeating the kanji over and over again, you're creating an image or story and connect it to the character. While I think many of the mnemonics presented for the first couple of hundred kanji are sloppy and a bit antiquated, I think the approach in general is brilliant. A link to the English version is in the description box below. When you go somewhere in Japan and say you know Japanese, how do people react and do they talk in Japanese with you or continue in English? I never say that. Usually I talk to people in Japanese and they reply in Japanese. Sometimes they start talking in English, I reply in Japanese and they keep on talking in English, but it's very rarely the case. As a German speaker myself, I would like to know if Japanese grammar is easier or more difficult than German. If you are a native English speaker who has learned German and your question is, is German grammar closer to English or Japanese grammar, 
then the answer is Japanese grammar is much farther away. However, you will probably spend much more time with learning the kanji, expanding your vocabulary and struggling with the Japanese phonetic system. Do you work in a Japanese environment only with Japanese people? Do you always speak Japanese at work? I work in an international environment and while I think my Japanese is not good enough for most work-related situations, I speak about 50% Japanese, 49% English and 1% German at work. My company does pay me some Japanese lessons, which I will start later this month. And it will be the first time for me to be in a Japanese class environment, so we will see how that goes. Do most of the Japanese exercise every morning. I can't imagine exercising before work. LOL. Nope. What most of the Japanese do every morning is sleeping on a train. How do you introduce yourself in Japanese? Depends on the situation, but the minimum version would be something like Hajime Mashite, Johannes des, Dozo, Yoroshiku no Self-introductions are really frequent in Japan and that's why I will talk about them in one of my upcoming videos which will be about finding work in Japan. Since there are many other people who also vlog in Japan, what kind of content do you want to make in the future? Something that sets you apart from the others. What I want to create is content that doesn't only provide you value in the form of entertainment but also knowledge. I also always want to produce the highest quality content I can at the given moment and I can say with certainty that I put more time into my videos than 90% of the others. And of course German accent. That's the best. Are you still in touch with friends in Germany? Did one of them visit you already? Yes I am. Six of my friends have visited me since I moved to Japan, one of them even twice. How often and how many hours do you practice Aikido in Japan per week? At the moment I practice only once per week for one and a half hours at a training group close to my house. That's not enough for progress however, so I hope to get back to a healthy four to five times per week pretty soon. Why did you choose Aikido as your sport and are there any other sports you are interested in? It just happened to be the first thing I ever tried. After a couple of months I thought I should stop, but then my mother gave me a dogi as a Christmas present, so I had to stay for a couple of more months. Then it became more fun, I joined different dojos and increased my training schedule to four to five times per week. I also did Iaido for one or two years and Taekwondo for a couple of hours. Do you think Aikido has also taught you patience and calmness, maybe wisdom too? I do. Would you like to have children someday? We have a child and want to make it children at some point in the future. And that's it for today. I couldn't answer all the questions and will do so for the remaining ones in the comments below. For now, thank you for watching a million times and see you next time.